What's up guys and welcome to one of our favorite cities in all of Europe, Krakow, Poland. Tonight's Christmas market is in the main square here in Krakow and we're gonna get some drinks, we're gonna get some food, and it really comes alive at Christmas time so we might do a little bit of Christmas shopping. But most importantly, my parents are here and we're gonna spend some quality time with them because they have flown all the way here from the US and they're already in the market so we gotta go find them. I am not used to walking through the snow. I'm glad I have boots. Trey does not have boots. We should have got him some galoshes or something because his little toesies are gonna be so cold. Not ideal, but we move. <laughs> We have a little list of everything that we're going to try, sample at this market, and it all is prepared by Trey. Right? And it might be wrong. But we're gonna try it. We're gonna get some mulled wine, some soup, smoked cheese, pierogies, oh my gosh, grilled meat, and then cernik, which is a Polish cheesecake. What? So we're ready to go. One of the things that makes the Krakow Christmas Market unique is its setting. It's situated right in the center of Krakow's old town at Rynek Głowny, which translates in English to Main Square. Now, most cities in Europe have a Main Square, but this one's the largest medieval square in Europe, and there's tons to see in the area. You've got Kościo Madiatski, or St. Mary's Church, with its gorgeous blue interior on one side of the square, as well as Town Hall Tower situated on the other side. And right in the middle, you've got Sukienice, or Cloth Hall, right in the center. Got any of those drinks from me? We got some drinks! Oh, let's go! Cheers! Sloppy there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't my best work. <laughs> Mom and I switched it up a little bit. We got what's called herbata. Am I saying that right? It is herbal tea, and there's a little bit of alcohol in there. So, we're Just switching a little bit? it up from the mold wine. Okay, so round one is all about the mold wine. Just as Hannah said, she got something different. I'm sticking to the, the tried and true mold wine. After this, we are going to start kind of working our way through the market, as well as showing you guys kind of what you can expect in this area. And this market spans pretty much the entire left side from the town hall tower to the cloth hall here in the center. Also, if you can't tell, we got another snow drizzle this morning. <laughs> we've kind of been dodging the snow for the past like four days that we've been here. It's the early few days of December, and I don't think anyone was expecting this snowfall in Europe, but it sounds like it's kind of everywhere. We've gotten slammed. <laughs> so everywhere snow. has. We got some vegetable soup oh. and bread. <laughs> <laughs> That's honestly like the main got highlight. Some garlic soup. Ooh. With croutons on top. Oh, nice. I'm not sure it's how much not, they look like croutons. I definitely thought way. garlic soup would be like creamy, but this is more like a broth. It looks like French onion soup a little bit. Like the consistency, it's like a kind of a brownish color, but it's brothy. That's fair, there's no cheese. <laughs> Here, I got two spoons. Sharon is carrying. No soup for me. <laughs> of all the Christmas markets that we've been through, all through Germany, into Switzerland, into Hungary, Hungary. and even Austria, I've not seen a market with so much soup, so many varieties of soup. This soup stand, and there's a couple of them over here. They've got like 15 different soups. It's a crazy amount. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's nice oh, and warm. It's so warm. And I'm also a little bit messy, so please don't judge me. Polish people, they got they got it down pat with the food. Oh, yeah, Throughout yeah. this market, the food looks phenomenal. No spoon necessary. No, no, this is how we did. We're on warm beverage number two. We're just gonna call them warm beverages from now on because we're getting a mix of mulled wine and herbata. We are now in line for smoked cheese, which is the third item on our agenda for tonight. There are pierogies, which is our fourth item, with the smoked cheese inside, but we're not cheaters. So we're gonna go for smoked cheese and then- Maybe pierogies. bacon wrap, who knows? Maybe bacon wrap, get a little crazy. <laughs> All right, next up, smoked cheese. No cranberry sauce because we're watching the sugar intake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. When I tell you Polish people have food figured out, you can't go wrong here. All right, so I learned a new word and I'm gonna see if it describes this cheese. 
Oh my gosh. Wait. I don't believe that cheese. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that cheese. It's definitely cheese. This is Barza Dobja. Do yeah? So they say. It probably isn't even close, but I tried. I tried. This is so good. I'm so sorry. I just ate yours, didn't I? No, you did not. We'll get it's you very one. cheesy. No, no. I just stuffed the whole it's thing in my mouth, early. and it was like. It's oh, so man. good. It's very so good. good. Very salty. Barza Dobja. But it's excellent. This is from one of my favorite Christmas markets to shop in and not for the reason that you think. Some of the things that we've seen here have been really like crafty. There's a place over here that has been hands down my favorite store that I've seen ever because it doesn't have just Christmas stuff. It has stuff that's kind of versatile all year round like spring, fall. There was like a Halloween decoration in there. It's kind of fun to see a bunch of different holidays at a Christmas market because it's not Christmas all year round, you know. Are you doing some Christmas shopping for me? Actually for me. <laughs> I'm in shoes right now, which is rookie mistake number one, and I have three pairs of socks on, and none of them are doing the trick, so I think I'm gonna get a pair of Christmas socks, both for now, as well as Christmas Eve when we're with family, and uh, we're trying to look like we're in the holiday spirit. So How festive. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go grab some uh, socks. I feel like these blue ones are calling my name. The sounds over there chaos. are chaotic. I like these. These are festive. They are. They are uh, navy blue, which is uh, in season right now. It is one of my colors. Yeah, I like these. All right, got some socks. Still gonna have wet feet because I'm wearing tennis shoes, not boots, but that's okay. It's pierogi time. This is my favorite card. Yeah. I don't know what's supposed to be in it. Do you like the pierogies? I love them. Well, that doesn't suck. <laughs> Man. How do you say it, Brad? Smatsna. Smatsna. Or so I'm told. <laughs> So unfortunately, we are here on a weeknight, so the stage is not going to have any live performance or any kind of show or whatever they have. I'm not really sure exactly what they have, but I know on the weekends, this square really livens up. And one thing that livens up in particular is the stage right here. Now, as you can see, it's empty, but um, I'm sure it's probably popping off on the weekends. I hate that we miss that though. Also, I should mention something that we're missing and I'm kind of bummed about it is on December 6th, it's St. Nicholas Day. Yeah. And uh, Santa gives out Christmas presents to a bunch of kids in the square right here. Yeah, it's like the precursor to Christmas Eve or Christmas Day where, you know, Santa kind of brings the bigger gifts on the 25th, but on the 6th, he gets, I guess he gives like smaller gifts to the local children. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's how it goes. So yeah, it's a cool little precursor to the big day, uh, which is about two weeks from now. So cute. Next up on the agenda really is really meats, and right if now. you know anything about Poland, you know that they smoke meats really well. And this market's absolutely covered in just about every kind of meat that you could want. We've got pork knuckle over here. We've got some sausage over here, some bratwurst kind of things. I guess bratwurst is sausage, isn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah, all kinds of stuff. Chicken, you're gonna find kebabs. everything you could ever want. You're gonna find in Krakow's Christmas market. So much food. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the lighting's a little bit tough, but we've gotten a, what is this? Kebab and then a spiral white bean sausage with some potatoes. We are all set. We're living good. We are living so good. We don't think this is chicken. I couldn't really see while it was on the grill, but look at this. This is such a hit. You guys have got to try this. It's so good. Have you noticed a lot of it is contactless? Oh yeah, yeah. Like last year we had to carry around so many euros with us because everywhere only took cash. I don't know if it's just this year, like everyone's going cashless, cashless. but it, feel, it feels like everywhere accepts card, which is super duper nice.
For the last item of the night, we said we were going to get cheesecake, but it's proven to be a little bit difficult to find here in this Christmas market, but we did find something earlier when we were looking at all the pierogies that looked amazing. And I think it's like kind of a Danish cheesecake mix. So that's what we're going to get instead. Okay, I am eating the... Is it like a cheese Danish yeah. with something in it? There's a chance it could be dates. This is so yummy. This tastes like, yeah, it's a cream cheese Danish. Mm -hmm. It's very similar. Like apple pie. Oh, it's, it's still steaming. It's hot. Doesn't get much better. Woodworking is incredible. I want to take one of these home. Like this is so cool to me. The contrast in the wood. I want to take one of those home so bad. I just have no space in my bag. Like this is so cool. Should we get it? Yeah. 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 Of all the Christmas markets and all of the Christmas market purchases that we've made, this might be the most like authentic and definitely my favorite Christmas market purchase ever. Like this is good and heavy too. It's a dragon, which is a very popular symbol here in Krakow. There's a dragon that breathes fire over by uh, Bobble Castle that we're not gonna have in this video, obviously, because this is all about the Christmas market. But it's on our other one. If you've ever seen our other Krakow video, then you know what we're talking about. This is just the perfect gift. I'm on cloud nine. The socks, the dragon bottle opener, doesn't get much better. It's happening. It is happening, about to have a blue truck sausage, a blue truck kielbasa. <laughs> the bomb. Machna. Say it again. Machna. Woo! Hot. 